How's it going, guys? So, as you know, a bloody nightmare with these horrible narrowboat hatch windows, hatch doors, whatever you call them. As a lot of you know, we bought a narrowboat with this huge bloody leak under the floorboards that we didn't know about. But also, the narrowboat came with quite a few other problems. One being, these old rotten hatches were old and rotten, believe it or not. Replacing hatches on a narrowboat is, is, is an absolute nightmare. Good God. No. Well, it is for me, who's a newbie. I've never really done any DIY, so I really shouldn't be let rip on a project boat now, should I? Like a full restoration here. But I am trying. I spent absolutely ages getting some like, sort of nice, nice-ish wood. I sanded the little bad boys up. I varnished them. I spent absolutely ages trying to get them as good as my body would possibly be capable of doing so with these hatches. For whatever reason, they were still not shutting and locking. So the next stage, sort of about six months to a year later was to just rip them off again and start off fresh. We had a good friend under the name of Expert Chris come down and, and give these the expert treatment of doing them properly. Unfortunately, because I'm so paranoid about rust on this boat, I applied some Aquasteel rust repellent to the steel doors and the new hatch doors must have somehow not liked that and just fell off straight away a, a day later. In a moment of panic, me and Expert Chris both drilled and screwed these uh, wooden hatches onto the steel door and then, and then can you guess what happened when we tried putting the locks on? Again we have run into the problem where one of the wooden hatches on the inlays is far too big for its socket. Touches the metal rim. Won't sit in behind here. What a nightmare guys. So I think the wood's just warped over the last week so let's find some tools and get grinding. Becca recommended to use the old multi-tool with the uh, sanding adapter. I wanted to go out and get an angle grinder, but, but yeah, that does mean forking out. I have been itching to get one of these angle grinders since having to go on Expert Chris's one. So I'm probably going to make every excuse to get one. And yeah, I'm a bit grumpy today. Yeah, I'm just worried. We've I've done this, this is the, will be the third time now we're messing around with hatches and you know, I'm just scared. We've basically got to cut a little bit off the, the sides there just to try and shut them obviously. But I'm worried it's just going to end up looking absolutely terrible. So Bex has said to try out the old multi-tool on it first before we head off and get a little angle grinder tool, which I'm itching to get. So there's, a, there's every reason that I'm going to make this look really difficult and hard so that we can just get the little angle grinder toy. Toy. <laughs> Gloves. A lot of people have said this, so a lot of the reasons probably that, that things have been going wrong is because in the last last few weeks I've stopped using the marigolds. <laughs> and, Marigold know, it's, power! It's bad luck, isn't it, not to use them. It's worked all along on everything. Mm. Health and safety first always. Ow. Head up today. <laughs> and wanting the angle grinder or not, this thing was just terrible for this. It just, it was taken off a tiny little amount, I mean it was... It was dreadful. The angly wangly is what you want. I think we're fighting a never ending battle with this. You have a quick go. You want the gloves? Let the boss see what we're up against. Phil, we need the angly wangly grinder. Yeah, you'd be here all day. I think we get the angle. So I got my own way again, off to get the angly wangly grinder. We need something slightly more aggressive. For those hatch windows, God, I'm dreading this. I've pulled them off three bloody times, these things. Is it three or two? And some of you might be thinking that's not a job for an angle grinder, but what we need for the angle grinder is the uh, sanding attachment too. Angly wangly. Well, should we go to the wood first? Also, pick up a tiny little bit of wood. That'll prove very useful later with a little plan I'm hatching. 25 quid. Let's get one more from the back. What do you reckon? Like with vegetables, you get one that's sealed. Hasn't one is it sealed? It is sealed. That's how you do it, isn't it? Break the seal. So check if there's any sanding pads in there before purchase. Okay. There's no discs, is there? And here is a little hack for you guys. I mean, most of you probably know this, but what we needed was this attachment here for the sanding disc. 14 quid in B&Q, Screwfix, B&Q's sister company, which is just around the corner, are doing it for 4.94. That's 10 quid cheaper. It's meant to be mine. Yours is the multi-tool. There's the man who wouldn't even look at an angle grinder a little while ago because he was too scared of them. 
I was like a little baby, terrified around them. You cut your fingers off, don't you, and all that. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Off to you. Cheers. All right. So yeah, it's even in the exact same packet. Not sure I like how attached you get into this angle grinder, holding the discs, making it yours. It's mine, 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 mine. So you put your piece of paper in and you close the door and it's not being held at all until you get to, and there's tension there. We've had this for the last year where we think we're shaving the right bit off and then you're shaving the wrong bit off. Oh yeah, I think it's partly due to the, the actual wood swelling up and also the steel hatch doors have, have warped as well a bit. So here she is, my new little baby. Now just to try and work out how to attach it all. That's not do anything to do that sort of thing, is it? Is that what you do? What do you want to do? Tighten. Does this bit come off? Oh no, you take this bit off, don't you? You take that off? That's going to come flying off, isn't it? And my argument here was these are pretty bloody dangerous. You want to make sure it's on tightly so it's safe. Because Once you put that in. So while Bex is sorting this mess out, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the top of this door the old uh, orbital sander treatment. Yeah, it's definitely catching on the top here. Spot on. I was getting a little bit worried about Bex here, because again, these things seem very dangerous from stories I've heard. Watch your fingers, Bex, because they are. And your eyes, because that could come flying off in a second. Don't be careful with your fingers, Bex. I'm miles away. I've got to press, be able to press the button. There's something, I don't know how the lock works. It's plugged in, Jesus, Bex. OK, so a tutorial from Bex. <laughs> And now for the new expert to take over. Yes, I am the new expert, Chris. You know it. We're starting to sabotage them again. Not a good start. One of my biggest fears with this was to trash them all again. Lovely bit of kit. The old angly wangly grinder. The bottom's in. That's easy. I think the top needs to be done. We've done it. So get a little bit of Danish oil on there just to protect it for now. We haven't got any varnish yet. Yeah, I was going to coat it again with this white paint, which is weather resistant, but uh, it takes a while to dry. Even though it's a quick dryer, it's bloody freezing this week, and I think we're going to wait till a better day for it. So we're going to actually see if I can, for once, do a good job and get every single hatch locked on the boat in today's episode. What do you reckon, guys? You can actually see where it's catching. First we'll get rid of this little fella. Even though I don't think it's catching, it's probably good to get it out of the way. Wait, her name? Coming soon to a superstore near you. My new favorite tool, mine, mine, mine. Let's have a little play about with these hatch locks. Uh, yesterday, got the first one on finally after getting this new beloved angle grinder. I'm going to have a little go at trying to get the uh, second hatch door locks down properly. Got my Grinch hat on for good luck. Oh, I do not know if we're going to get this one to, to, to shut properly. I've got a funny feeling. She's really gone for the merry-gold, really, shouldn't I? The merry-gold's been gone for a while. And everything's been going wrong since, so... Health and safety first, always. And I'm all ready to fully embrace that scary, dangerous angle grinder, guys. Let's fire her up. Yep, yeah, all done, and no injuries. Right, do you remember that little bit of wood that I picked up from B&Q earlier in the episode? 
Right, so I'm going to build a little stilt for the back of these locks. So, as, in other words, a spacer. I like calling them little stilts because it sounds far cuter. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit just on the back of each of these little locks. Should hopefully help lock the uh, the hatch doors, I suppose. <laughs> The hat is definitely helping, guys. Want to make sure we Danish oil up these little bad boys too. And for that, I need marigolds. Yeah, they really do help keep the uh, nasty, horrible chemicals off my lovely hands. If you remember, I don't want the Danish oil to combust on the cloth, so I'm going to lay it down nice and flat. Is it weird if I touch these frosty marigolds with my non-frosty marigold? Probably. Okay, so load this little bad boy up with four screws and give it a little sandy. What do you think? Very good. Have a touch. Look at the curves on that. Isn't it? They thought you couldn't do it, eh? Perfect! It's perfect, Bex. It's perfect. Oh, hey! We done it! So exciting. One of my main hates of this narrow boat. I mean, there's not many hates, but this is one of the big boys. Put it on the wrong way around. Put it on the bloody wrong way around. One of them's on the wrong way around. I think that one. Take it all off again. Cockiness doesn't get you anywhere, does it, peeps? Here we go, finally they actually shut and lock. Still need to put these little trims on. On the insides here, if you can see. The still is exposed. And on the bottom here, we need a new one put on, I think. Oh no, we have got one. It's there. That, that'll go in here, but I'll have to, Grind these out a bit nicer. I might get some filler on there or grind them out nicely so that the locks sit sit around them. Okay, so on to the final hatch. Two of the three hatches fully locked now. This is really exciting stuff, guys. Bung one of me little stilts on. We done it! Every single hatch on the boat now is fully lockable. We did have uh, other methods of locking them before. I mean, it sat here a couple of nights without any locks on there, but. If you've got a narrow boat, I'm pretty sure you've done a similar thing. I am still going to uh, grind off a bit of the wood from the bottom here and the corner mainly because it catches and at the top especially. It really catches at the top. For now they are locking, which is brilliant. The first time since having said vessel that every single hatch on our beautiful rusty home can be locked. It's all good. Brilliant. I actually done it. I am so happy with the outcome of these. Cheers, guys. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>